hello everybody welcome back to our channel this is nelly of smile physics we welcome you once again to this channel we promised giving you a detailed scheme of work for ss2 because the sec this second term is over we'll be giving you detailed scheme of work for ss2 third term that's where we will start third term so that it will be relevant for the students it will be relevant for teachers as they they start next term so we'll start with scheme of work for third term we will still get to first term because after this third term next will be first term second term you know and we continue like that we'll be treating it topic by topic every topic in this scheme will be touched trust me the only thing you have to do is stay glued to this channel by tapping the subscription button you subscribe you share you tell others you also click the notification bell so that whenever you we, we have a new video you will get notified immediately so stay tuned as we give you detailed scheme of work for ss2 third term first week is revision of last term's work Yeah, you also give them resumption tests after revising last time's work usually what you are expected to do is take their immediate past question paper you ask them few questions from that in fact try to see if you can use with the first period to cover it ask them questions know the places they are they failed the most you also comment on them. Then you give them resumption tests. Your resumption tests should just come from that past question. Most times, to, um, teachers will be running around. Where do I get tests from? All those things. Pull your the resumption test from that uh, past question. If you are a if you are not a student and you are listening to this, the only thing you have to do is give yourself work to do. Put down this scheme and you can start reading immediately. Then our second week's topic is rectilinear propagation of light wave. Rectilinear propagation of light wave. Under this, we should be talking about shadows and eclipse. Another subtopic is transmission of light. Yeah, you are expected to talk about types of materials. That is uh, transparent, translucent, and opaque materials. You should also talk about sources of light wave. Then you go over to week three. Our oh, well, week three is reflection of light at plane surfaces. Reflection of light. Yeah. 
then under this you should talk about laws of reflection images formed on flame mirror to solve simple problems. And you go back to week four. Your week four should be reflection of light by curved mirrors. Reflection of light by curved mirrors. Under this, we should tell, talk about types of curved mirror, application of curved mirrors, and solve simple problems. Application of curved mirrors. And you should solve simple problems using mirror formula. Solve simple problem. Using mirror formula. Week five, refraction of lights at plane boundaries. Refraction of light of light at plane boundaries. That is through rectangular prism. That's the plane boundaries they are talking about. Rectangular prism. Under this, you should talk about laws of refraction. That's Nell's law, real and apparent depths. Laws of refraction. You should talk about real and apparent Real and apparent depths. You should also talk about critical angle and total internal reflection. Critical angle and total internal reflection. All right, after doing this, all these things, the only doctor telling you, you, you solve simple problems, you solve all of them, they are mathematics based. You should solve simple problem in each of them. Any one treated, you should solve problem. Any one treated, you should solve problem. Then week six, refraction and image formation by lenses. Refraction and image formation by lenses. Under this, you should talk about technological application of lenses, uh, that is optical instrument, solve simple problems. Technological application 
of lenses. problem using lens formula okay week seven as usual we then break we love we can break week eight after the rest we continue working basic concepts and propagation of wave motion basic concepts and propagation of wave motion under this we should talk about wave equation uh, mathematical relationship between uh, the uh, wave speed frequency and wavelength wave equation that wave equation is y is equal to a sine omega omega no 2 pi x over lambda minus omega t 2 pi x over lambda minus omega t. We will tell you what each of these represents. What they represent in the course of this lesson. And we also said under this week 8, you should talk about mathematical relationship. between wave speed or wave velocity v frequency and wavelength the relationship is simple v is equal to f lambda that's what they want so you should use it to solve simple problem i hope you understand that then we go back to week nine. Week nine, we should talk about sound wave. Under sound wave, you should talk about noise and music, characteristics of music. Nobody wants noise, everybody wants music, so that's why we are continuing with music. Musical instruments that is, types and uh, their characteristics. So, discuss musical instruments. Types and characteristics. We go back to week 10. Then, first vibration and resonance. First vibration and resonance. Under this, you should talk about waves in a string and pipe. Waves in a string and pipes to we'll flip over to the next page under this under that with then we should also talk about harmonics and overtones we should also determine the speed of sound by resonance tube method. We should also talk about speed of sound in air, liquid and solids. We should also talk about echo and its application. This week 10 is loaded, fully loaded. 
in fact this ss2 third time i say hole is fully loaded i encourage uh, teachers to be quick if you really want to cover the skin you should be quick and devise a method that you will use to carry your students along for instance don't waste your week one don't don't just waste your week one once you give the resumption test then ask one or two questions for the first um the first period depending on number of periods given to you in your school the first period should cover both the resumption test and every other thing second third fourth period you should use it and start your lesson because this week then should be divided into two that's what it should look like it is two topics merged in one do you understand uh, so when you do this getting to this um getting to week nine now you should be treating week 10 and that's what you will continue to you know till you enter week 10 so you will not find it difficult or you will not be complaining you did not finish your scheme it is very wrong remember it is very very wrong for a teacher not to finish or cover her scheme or his scheme of work before the end of the term because it is believed that this scheme has been planned and taught severally and people cover their skin and in your own time now you are telling them no time to cover skin it is very wrong so we continue we said we should talk about harmonics and overtones we should also talk about determination of speed of sound by resonance tube method We should also talk about um, speed of sound in air, liquid and solid. Speed of sound <coughs> in air, liquid and solid. Finally, we should talk about echo and its application. <clears throat> when you do this you have covered your skin week 11 revision and there's a mission this will continue to week 12 wow if you do this you have done yourself a lot of good so look at it again this is detailed scheme of work for ss2 third term from start to finish i will snap it and also upload it on the comment section if you did not follow what we just described remember to subscribe to our channel click on the notification bell so that you will get notified each time we drop a new video remember we promised that we will, we will treat these topics one after another we will treat them before you go into third term as a teacher and as a student god bless you see you next week as we start our first topic next week have a nice day